Okay, Assalamualaikum everyone. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. Hi. Saya baca benda yang fancy. Okay, good. Why are mosquito by Ichi? Ah, why? Okay, we wait another one minute for your friends to join. Hmm. What scratching? Scratching provide only temporary relief and too much scratching can result in breaking the skin. When the skin is broken, the skin may alter and infection may follow. Use skin lotion. <coughs> there are some skin lotion can so bright lotion that contains carmine. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. uh, ah, different high carmine or hydrocortis. So it's quite effective <coughs> for a living. Okay, Assalamualaikum everyone. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, before we start our lesson today, let's recite no offers. One, two, three. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma ta'alayna hikmataka wa insyur alayna min khuzainya rahmatika ya arhamal rahim. Rabbi shrahli sallayya. Kahu kauli, amin. Okay. Teacher. For teacher start uh, a new topic today, let us do revision our last lesson. Okay. Yesterday we have learned about plan. Do you still remember? Plan. Plan. Yeah. Uh, table temperature. Water, sunlight. Okay, so I have to unmute all that I will ask you one by one. You can give me the answer, okay? Okay, we have learned about the basic need of plan, why plan is very important to living things, and also the, um, the stages of plan growth. Okay, now let me start with... What is the basic needs of plan? Okay, I will share my whiteboard first. Ah, Delisha dah angkat tangan. Okay, Delisha, what is the basic needs of plan? Okay, I will unmute you. Okay, Delisha, what is the basic need of plan? Water. Okay, water. Uh, sunlight. Sunlight, sekejap ya. Kejap, kejap. Teacher nak admit kawan awak sekejap eh. Wait. Okay. Okay, water. Next is sunlight. Lagi apa? What else? Um, air. Okay, very good. Air and another one. Suitable apa? Suitable. Uh, water. Suitable temperature. Okay, not all plant can grow in Malaysia. For example, apple cannot grow in Malaysia. So, it must be a suitable temperature. 
Okay, remember there are four basic needs of um, plan that is, okay, let me draw the mind map. Okay, the basic need of plan, they are water, sunlight, air, and also suitable temperature. Okay, wait, I have to admit your friends. Okay. Okay, next, I hope you can remember these four basic need. Okay, next, why? Okay, why plant is very important to living things? The importance of plant. Okay, siapa ya teacher nak tanya? Muaz Jazli. Okay, kenapa pokok ni penting dekat living things? Why plant is very important to living things? Okay, give me one only. Teacher want to ask. Um, others also. Okay, give me one. Why plants is very important to living things? Yang pertama sebab apa? Plant boleh bagi kita apa? Muaz Jazli. Plant bagi kita apa? Hari-hari makan apa? Ah, plant can give us food. Food lah. Food, okay. Good, Moaz. Okay, next. Why plant is very important to living things? Beside food, plant also can give us what? Uh, tadi dari Syara jawab, kita bagi orang lain pula. Iman Farisha. Uh, untuk... Habitat. Yes, very good. Habitat. Habitat for uh, living things. Contohnya, monkey, bird, uh, they will um, stay at plant dekat jungle. So, plant is very important to provide habitat. Okay, thank you Iman. Okay, next. Ada lagi dua. Bicu nak tanya. Yes, Fanani. Okay, what else? Why plant is very important? Plant can provide what? Oxygen. Yes, oxygen. Ataupun air for us to breathe. Okay, kalau kita tarik nafas, you breathe in, we will breathe oxygen. So, plant is very important to give us oxygen. Okay, the last one. Thank you, Fanani. Okay, the last one. Why plant is very important? Yes, Adi, you put out your hand. Okay, Adi. Okay, what is another one? Food. Huh? Food uh, uh. dengan huruf M. Medicine. medicine. Okay, pandai. Medicine. Okay, plants also can provide us medicine. Contohnya aloe vera, pokok-pokok herbs. Okay, herbs plant. Okay, thank you Adit. Okay, remember there are four important things why plant is very important to living things. Okay, remember the importance of plant. Okay, plant can provide food, plant will provide habitat, especially for animal, plant will give us oxygen for us to breathe and also plant can supply medicine. Okay, this is the four importance of plant. Okay, next, yesterday we have learned about the stages of plant growth. The stages of Plant growth. Okay, now I want to ask. Okay, firstly, apa first stages? Okay, teacher nak tanya. 
What is the first stages? Okay, now Rajasmin, apa first stage of plant growth semalam? Want me to verify my eyes number and me. Okay, what is the first stages for plant to grow? Mm -hmm. How you spell C. my name? Tell me. Okay, very good. C. Okay, thank you, Naura. Okay, first C. Okay, let me draw. Seed ni biji benih. Okay, let me draw the seed. Okay, lepas seed, what will happen to this seed? Okay. Okay, what will happen to this seed? Next, I want to ask ah Darwish Fahim. Okay, after seed, what will happen to this seed? Yeah, to look at it. Huh? Let me do this. Ah, uh, what is the answer? I will write for you. The second stages of plant growth after seed, what? Germination of seed. Okay, very good. Germination of seed. Okay, germination of seed. Eh? Okay. Okay, germination of seed. Okay, thank you, Darwish. Okay, next. Uh, germination of seed, dia akan keluar um, akar sikit. Okay, next. After germination of seed, apa pula? Okay, I will ask Megat Irfan. Okay, after germination of seed, what will happen? Uh, berbunga. Ha, belum lagi tu, belum. Dia yeah, apa tah? Membesar dulu. Ha, membesar tu kita panggil apa? Uh, apa eh? Young plan. Young plan. Ah, okay. So teacher draw young plan here. Teacher, teacher pokok yeah. sawit. Ha? Pokok sawit. Pokok sawit. Ah. Ah, dia jadi young plan dululah sebelum dia besar tu. Sebelum dia berbuah dia jadi young plan. Okay, young plan. Okay, teacher draw young plan. Okay, thank you. Siapa tadi teacher panggil? Megat. Okay, let me write here first. Young plan. Okay, after young plan, this plan will produce... The young plant, this plant will produce what? Uh, just, just. Okay, after young plant, they will produce. Okay, siapa yang belum jawab lagi? Fana ni dah jawab, teacher panggil orang lain dulu. Arif Ashraf. Okay, Arif Ashraf. After young plant, what will happen? They will produce what? Yes, very good. They will produce, the plant will produce flower. Okay, thank you, Arif. Okay, the plant will produce flower. Okay, lepas flower last sekali. Flower tu jadi apa? Shafizul. Okay, lepas flower dia jadi apa? Fruit. Yes, it will produce fruit. Buka warna.
Okay, after produce flower, they will produce fruit. So, remember, pokok yang ada buah, normally they will produce flower, then they will produce fruit. So, dalam fruit tu ada apa? Ada seed, ada biji. So, kita tanam balik biji tu, dia akan jadi germination of seed, young plant, produce flower and produce fruit. So, this is the stages of plant growth and also the cycle, how the plant are reproduced. Okay, that's all about plant. So now let us proceed with a new topic that is light and dark. Wait. Mm, stop here. Teacher will share with you a new topic today. You have learned about dark and light. Okay, can you see my slide? Show me like this. Okay, let's start with a new topic, light and dark. Okay, sekejap ya. Okay, before this, you have learned about light and dark. Cahaya dan gelap. Okay, look at my slide here. Oops. Okay, as you can see in my slide, here is in a day. Okay, a day, ada sun, ada cahaya. So, ni adalah cerah. And this slide will show us at night. So, di gelap. Only we get the light from fire, from star, from the torchlight. Okay, so this is what we will revise today. Light and also dark. Okay, do you still remember light is very important uh, to uh, human, to our life because uh, with light we can see anything around us. Okay, do you still remember the source of light? They are divided into three. Okay, sumber cahaya ni ada tiga. We can get the light from sun, we can get the light from lamps and we also can get the light from fire. Kita boleh dapat cahaya daripada tiga tempat ni. Daripada matahari, from the sunlight, from the lamp, lampu. Malam kita guna lampu. And the third, from the fire. Kalau kita um, kita bakar sampah ke, kita bakar apa-apa, they will come out fire. Kita masak pun fire. Fire tu can give the light. That is the source of light. Sun, lamps and also fire. Okay, as you can see, this, uh, okay, this boy, they go inside the cave. So, cave is very dark. So, they will use uh, this fire to see around his, around himself. So, light is a form of energy that enable us to see all the things around us. So, light is very important because it will give uh, light for us to see. Dia akan bagi kita 
cahaya supaya kita boleh nampak keliling. Okay, this is the source of light. We can get the light from torchlight, from fire, candle, the star and also the sun. All of these can give us light. Okay, this is the natural light. Example here is sun, star and firefly. Natural light ni, dia semula jadi. Kita tak boleh buat, they will come out by itself. Contohnya matahari. Um, apa dia, bintang and also firefly. Tapi there are also artificial light. Artificial light ni, human made. Manusia yang buat, man made. Contohnya lampu, candle. Match, manches ni. Okay, this is we call artificial light because they are source of man-made. Okay, there are many uh, many sources that we can get light. For example here, okay, moon. Moon ni kita dapat light because it can it reflected from the sunlight and then burning wood, lightning and also star. This All of this is natural source. And artificial ni adalah buatan, buatan manusia yang buat contohnya candle, lamp, flashlight, TV, projector, your telephone. All of these objects are artificial source of light because it man-made. Manusia yang jadikan dia, manusia yang buat TV, manusia yang buat projector. So this is what we call artificial source. Okay, this is uh, another example of sources of light. Okay, this is your textbook. Okay, light is an important requirement in our life. Light is obtained from various sources such as sun, lamps and also fire. As you can see, the sun. During the day, the sun is the main source of light. So, sunlight is a natural source of light. So, macam sekarang siang-siang, awak buka lampu tak? Tak kan? Ha, sebab kita dapat cahaya matahari from the sunlight. So, bila siang ni, we get the light from the sun. Okay. Then, at night, the sun is not visible. Bila malam, ada lagi tak matahari? Ha, dah tak ada. Jadi gelap. So, we will use um, lamps and fire to give light to us. For example, here you can see in this picture. Okay, lamps daripada car lamps, home lamps, street lamps. Okay, all of these lamps we can get ataupun kita boleh dapat waktu malam. Bila siang-siang kita tak guna pun. Okay, contohnya orang naik kereta, ada buka lampu ke siang-siang? Tak ada. So, we, it's very important for us dekat malam at night. Same goes to fire. Light can also be obtained from fire. Such as the flame of a candle, oil lamp and also torch light. Torch. Okay, this will give us um, light. Okay, now teacher show you um, flower, hibiscus. So, bila um, in a day, you can see the flower. Tapi cuba tutup mata. Boleh tak nampak? Try to close your eyes. Can you see the flower? Ha, no. That's mean. Atau awak cuba tutup lampu. Okay, awak takkan nampak these types of flower. Okay, next. I want you to take your activity books. Uh, teacher buat revision sikit je and then we'll proceed to the activity books. Okay, take your activity book. Okay, take your activity book. Open page. Thirty-seven. Muka surat tiga puluh tujuh. Okay, I will stop share. I will open my activity book. 37. Okay, open page 37. Okay, 
Okay, let us do together the exercise in this activity book. Okay, identify source of light. Okay, observe the picture and state the source of light. Okay, like I mentioned just now, there are three sources of light. They are from sun, from fire, and also from lamp. Okay, can you tell me what is the source of light for this number one? Okay, I will ask you. For this number one, what is the source of light for this one? Okay, remember there are three sources of light, sun, fire, and also lamps, lampu eh. Okay, nombor satu ni apa? I want to ask, apa lagi teacher belum tanya? Muhammad Fahim. Ah, Teacher belum tanya lagi. Okay, Fahim. Yes. What is yes. the source of light for this number one? Sun. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fahim. Sun. Hello. Okay, thank you. Next, I want to ask. Okay, write your answer. Okay, number two. I will Azara Aish. Okay, I will answer. Yes. Okay, number two. Okay, Can what I... is the source no. of light? Ada tiga. Candle. Okay, kita tak sebut candle. Apa source dia? Tadi kita cakap ada tiga je source. Uh, sun, light and also fire. So, this this candle is category fire, sun or light? Um, lamp. Uh, fire. Okay, very good. Fire. Okay, you write here, fire. Okay, next, number Okay, number three, I want to ask. Okay, Amira Iza. Okay, number three, what is the source of this? Number three. Kejap. Teacher dah unmute awak dah. Teacher. Okay. What is the source of this number three? Sun, fire or lamp? Fire. Okay, good. Fire. Okay, you write here, fire. Okay, and number four. Okay, thank you Amira Iza. Okay, number four. Kalish Amza. Okay, Kalish, are you there? Okay, Kalish, yang nombor empat ni apa? What is the source of this object? Number four. Sun, fire or lamb? Teacher dah unmute awak. Yes, what is the source of this light? Nombor empat ni. Start with L. Apa dia? Louder please, I can hear your voice. Okay, lamp. 
So, okay, thank you. So, the source of light are from the sun. So, you write the answer here. From the sun, from fire, and also um, lamp. Okay, write your answer. Teacher tak muat eh, sebab tu teacher tulis kat sini. So, one word for one space. Space tu satu word. Sun, fire, and also lamp. Okay, write the answer. Okay, have you done? If you done, you write on chat, uh, group chat. Okay, Delisha done. The five students said done, then I will proceed to the next page. Okay, Ryan done. Amirah Izzah done. Iman Farisha done. Okay, Muaz Jazli also done. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us proceed to page 38. Muka surat 38. Okay, on this page, we will investigate. Ah, Kita buat eksperimen sikit today. Okay, we have to compare the sketching of the hibiscus. Okay, just now teacher already show you the hibiscus flower. Okay, teacher show you. So now what I want you to do is you draw a hibiscus in box A. Can you see here, kat sini ada um, box, ada box A and also box B. Okay, look at here, box A and also box B. And what should you do? You have to draw a hibiscus in box A. Okay, teacher will show you flower. I want you to draw the hibiscus here. Okay, contoh teacher draw hibiscus here. Okay, ni teacher buka mata. Teacher tengok gambar, teacher buka mata, teacher draw. And then at B box, what should you do? You have to cover your eyes and draw hibiscus in box B. Dekat box B, what should you do? Awak tak boleh tengok, awak tutup mata. You have to close your eyes like this and try to draw. Ah, Jangan buka mata, try to draw. Let me show you, if I close my eyes, I draw the hibiscus. Okay, ah, I want you to do like this. Okay, can you try? I will show you. Ah, so next you can compare. Okay, this one page 38. Muka surat 38 sebelah tadi. Okay, why we want to investigate this? Okay, we want to investigate for hibiscus box A, kita guna cahaya. We use our eyes and ada cahaya. You can see the hibiscus. But in box B, you don't have light. You close your eye, you don't have light and then you imagine the flower and try to draw. Okay, now I will show you the hibiscus and try to draw in box A and box B. Okay, let me show you the flower first. Okay, try to draw this flower in box A. Box A, tiru macam teacher punya flower. Oh, teacher tak nampak Arif tunjuk apa tu. I can see. Ah, teacher baru tunjuk flower. Draw this flower. Kena ada lima kelopak this flower. Okay, try to draw this hibiscus. Muaz done. Okay, for box B. Try to close your eyes and draw the hibiscus. 
Okay, this one page 38, 38, naurah ni. Itu surat 38, naurah. Okay, try to draw this hibiscus. Box B, jangan buka mata langsung. Then you can compare. Okay, after this, I want you to show me your drawing. Iman Farisha finish. Oh, cepat. Can you show me your drawing? Tujuk dekat kamera. Atas sikit Muaz, teacher tak nampak Muaz. Oh, yang box B tu kecil ni lah. <laughs> Okay, can you compare, do comparison between two? Teacher, tak nampak. Apa yang tak nampak, Fak? Kalau tutup mata memang tak nampak, you have to draw. Try to draw without light. Maksudnya bila awak tutup mata, awak tak nampak pun. So, try to draw without light. That's me. you have to close your eyes. Okay, who have then show me? Siapa dah siap tunjuk kat teacher? Uh, I want to see your drawing. Okay, we wait for your friends. Amira Iza. Okay, satu lagi yang box B. Teacher tak nampak. Show me yang box B pula. Box B dah lukis ke Amir Raiza? Have you draw box B? Okay. Jadi kecil. Okay. Okay cantik je Amir Raiza punya. Tutup mata tu. Okay, good try. Shafizul Ghaffar. Done. Okay, show me your drawing. Mana Shafizul? Okay, show me your drawing, Shafizul. For box A and box B. Okay, cut it done. Okay, Ryan also done.
Okay, Naura also done. Afif done. Okay, Akhiya Wafiq. <laughs> Zara dan okay, good. Okay, Zara Aish also done. Okay, very good. All of you done. Okay, can you compare your drawing? Okay, can you compare your drawing between box A and also box B? Okay, most of you done. Very good. So now you can compare between box A and box B. Oh, Shafiz Shafizah cakap sakit duduk lama-lama. Awak <laughs> oh, boleh bangun. Rasa sakit pun tu. Awak oh, boleh bangun. Okay, I think all of you, most of you have done drawing the hibiscus. So I will stop share this flower. Okay, let me open the Okay, let me open the activity book. Okay, I give you one minute to take break. Okay, ada lagi yang belum siap. Yang dah siap tu, you can wait for your friends. I give you one minute break. Okay, now let's answer the question here. Question number one. Okay, answer the following question based on your drawing. Okay, as you can see here, you have draw um, A and also you can you have draw hibiscus in box B. In box A, 
I think it's more nice or you can draw it properly compared to box B. Okay, number one, the hibiscus could be sketched properly or not properly when it is bright. So I want to ask, siapa ada kat sini? Tadi siapa yang dah siap tadi? Siapa nak tolong dia jawab question number one? Okay, Kalish Amza. Okay, Darish Fahim, your hands up. Your hand. Okay, Darish Fahim. Okay, Darish Fahim, for question number one. Eh? The hibiscus could be sketched properly or not properly when it is bright. What is your answer? Properly. Okay. properly. Okay, very good. Properly. The hibiscus could be sketched properly when it is bright. Okay, for number two. The hibiscus could not be sketched properly in the Yeah, kalau itu dah ada, macam putus line ke? Oh, itu cilang eh. Cilang eh tadi. Okay. Ha, teacher, teacher punya line tu putus ke? Okay, look at question number two. Okay, tadi question number one properly. The answer yeah, hey, because properly. So, for number two. Okay, let me draw. Oh, Properly. Okay, for number two, the hibiscus could not be sketched properly in the bright or dark. Okay, dark. Okay, write your answer here. Dark. Okay, number two. Uh, Okay, number three. The sketch of her because <coughs> box A is better okay. than hibiscus in box A is better. Sketch <laughs> of hibiscus in box B. Okay, now if you done, I want me to show your drawing. Okay, saya nampak Fahim punya. Step ke Okay, if you're done, you can show me your drawing. Okay, I can see Darish Fahim punya drawing. Arif Ashraf, teacher tak nampak. Afif Irfan, okay, good. Yang B, teacher tak nampak lah, Afif. Okay, you can show me your drawing. Sekejap teacher tengok siapa lagi. Sekejap. 
Yes, Iman Farisha. Macam sama je. Okay, Delisha. Iman Farisha punya drawing macam sama je dua-dua. Tutup mata tak? Okay, Naura. Okay, nampak lain sikit. Adib. Okay. B tu nampak macam pelik sikit. Okay. <laughs> Zara Aish. Okay, good. Khalid. 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 Alisha, Halid. Okay, siapa lagi belum tunjuk kat teacher? Ryan. Okay, Ryan punya. Okay, I know that in box B, you close your eyes. Ha, siapa yang tutup mata, teacher tahulah. Okay, dia punya drawing macam tu. Fanani. Okay, good. Okay now have you all oh, Arif Ashraf. Okay I can see your drawing. Oh, siapa keluar box lagi. Okay good Delisha. Mega Irfan, where's your drawing? Show me. Got it? Where's your drawing? Show me. Okay, Kak A. Yes, I can see. Mega. Okay, teacher boleh nampak. Okay. So now you know that ah uh, without light, kalau tak ada cahaya matahari, boleh tak lukis cantik-cantik? Ah -cantik? uh, Tak boleh. So that's me. Light is very important in our life. Kalau tak ada cahaya matahari, susah untuk kita. Ha, tengok, tak nampak. Kalau malam tak ada lampu kereta, tak ada lampu dekat rumah awak, we cannot see uh, the object. Okay, it's very dangerous kalau malam tak ada lampu. Okay, could be accident, anything would happen. Okay, have you done um, page, page yang drawing ni? Have you done? Okay, I can see your thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up. Okay, good. Okay, let's proceed to the next page. Okay, let's see on the next page, page 39. Okay, we have to compare the light and dark. Compare the situation below. Okay, when you do writing, writing can be more presentable when it is bright or dark. Compare when it is dark. Apa jawapan dia kat sini? Uh, I want to ask Afif Irfan. Okay, for question number one here. Okay, what is the answer? I will unmute you. For question number one, writing can be more presentable when it is... Writing can be more presentable when it is... Right or dark? Light. Okay, very good. So write your answer here. Bright. Okay, write your answer here. Bright. Oops. Okay, that's why when we want to draw it, we want to write it, we have to use 
light so that we can easily write in. Okay, next. Okay, thank you. Uh, somebody? Uh, okay, okay, next. Okay, write the answer. Okay, next question number two. I want to ask Wan Zahra Aisha. Okay, Wan Zahra. Okay, number two. Playing with a lantern. Okay, this boy playing with lantern. So the lantern is more attractive when it is played in the bright or dark. Dark. Okay, very good. Write your answer here. The lantern is more attractive when it is played in the dark compared to when it is bright. Okay, all of you done? Okay, good. Okay, I think I have to stop at this page. Uh, and I'll, uh, for the next class, we will proceed to the next page. Okay, I hope all of you can understand and remember about the source of light and why light is very important to us. Okay, and also when you try to drawing just now, bila ada cahaya awak tengok, you can draw properly. But if you draw um, the flower without light or you close your eyes, uh, you cannot draw the flower properly. Okay, all of you done. Very good. Okay, that's all for today. All of you can understand today's lesson. Show me your thumbs up if you understand. Show me your thumbs up. Okay, I can see your thumbs up. Okay, good. Okay, I hope you can remember today's lesson so that next week we can proceed with a new page or new exercise. Okay, before we end our lesson, let's recite um, Surah while Ans together. Okay, while Ans innal insana lafi hus illa lazi na amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil haq what was all this sort of, I mean, okay, that's all for today. Bye. 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 Oh, tak boleh. Teacher kena end the meeting. Ha, you can go to your toilet. You can go to toilet. Ha, tak boleh. Teacher kena end this meeting, okay? Okay, see you again tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.
bye 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 bye